Thanks for watching WTWO News at 6 on this Monday. I'm Tom McClanahan. After several arsons in Terre Haute in the past few weeks, local firefighters are asking for the community's help to make sure this problem doesn't continue. Demetrius Sanders spoke with a fire department official to talk about an ongoing issue, and he joins us with the story. Demetrius? Yes, Tom. In just the past couple of weeks, the Terre Haute Fire Department has seen a house, garage, and car become the victim of an arson. And today, first responders are making sure folks know the seriousness of this type of crime. During the winter months, there is typically a decline in arsons, but so far in Terre Haute, that hasn't been the case. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, two or three fires right after Thanksgiving, um, a vehicle fire, and then a... Uh, structure fire, uh, it was arson. Uh, we had a couple other fires since then that have been determined to be arson. There's no single motive for a person to commit arson, but the Terre Haute Fire Department says oftentimes the suspect believes there's legitimate reasoning behind their act. Vengeance and anger, some of them out of, uh, out of just simple mischief. But reacting with vengeance can not only land an arsonist behind bars, but it can also put others in harm's way. You could go to a house that you feel is vacant or has been vacant and light it on fire and there are people inside. So that's obviously not a good thing. And not only does setting an intentional fire create danger for homeowners, but also those whose duty is to respond to these scenes. So the last firefighter killed in Terre Haute in the line of duty, Ralph Stott, was killed at the scene of an arson. And also at that scene, there were two firefighters that were pretty badly injured. To put an end to these arsons, the Terre Haute Fire Department says the community must also help them bring these criminals to justice. It's a time of the year where people uh, are going to be walking around your neighborhood. You're not going to be outside very, very much. It's going to get darker early. But we want you to just kind of be your brother's keeper. For the recent arsons, Louder Milk says there is no reason to believe that they are connected and they are being treated as individual acts. Tom? All right, thank you, Demetrius. If you have any information on a possible arson, you're asked to call the Terror Fire Department, local police, or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers at 812 238 STOP.